just like that, we're back again. Uncle Bokow in the building. Will you look at this beauty? All right, guys, so this is a beautiful, fresh red Savina habanero. This is and or was the longest uh, Guinness Book world record holder. So 12 years, I think that is. When did the, uh, when did the Reaper take it? So... I don't remember. I, whatever. I, I know this one is 12 years. This was the Guinness Book World's Hottest Pepper. Um, <clears throat> there's a lot of controversy. I'm going to have a, 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 a big chunk of this or half of it solo. Let's cut it open and see what it looked like. And then I got some food. Homemade eggplant parmesan with some ciabatta. You already know. All right. Let's cut this bad boy open and see what the inside looks like. There it is. Oh, I can smell it already. This is a monster, by the way. Look how thick the walls are. Oh. It's got that classic red chinen smell to it. It just smells so good. All right, guys. So, um, Red Savina. Sweet. Fruity. Mm. <laughs> All right, here comes the heat. <laughs> Woo! All right. Got a kick to it. Now, I didn't get too much on the placenta. Most of the placenta is there, so it's going to get hotter. As many of you know, with habaneros, they do. So let's talk about this. Um, there's a lot of controversy around this pepper. Uh, some people believe that it's just a red Caribbean. And some people believe it's just a red habanero. Now, I've never had a red Caribbean that has been hotter than an orange habanero. Um, and the red savinas are most of the ones I've eaten. I always kind of, except twice, two times. Two times I got wrecked off of them. Pretty bad. Um, besides that, most of the time I still kind of always get more worse burn from an orange hob. And some people say it's because the tannins are different. It's a different kind of burn. It's more of a stinging up front burn. Where the red has more of the back of the mouth and throat burn. Uh, so, anyway, it's in the super hots and whatnot. You know you know what that's like. You know you get those pe peppers that you would swear this thing tests that. 2 million Scoville units and it really tests at 900,000 but maybe it's an orange pot or something that just has a different kind of burn to it so uh, lo and behold there's lots of controversy around the Red Sabina now we do know that Guinness Book recorded it or whatever their test came in at 577,000 Scoville units back when I was buying dried Red Savinas and uh, Red Savina uh, pepper sauces, which would be in, um, I don't know, the late 90s, probably 1998, 97, going into 99. Um, I know one thing. I don't know if I've had any that have, that have reached that, that, that maybe twice. Like I said, I had two that were really, really hot. Most of the time, the stuff that I've got my hands on that was called a Red Savina, I don't believe it was. I believe that it was a red, regular Red Hob or it was a uh, Jamaican red, um, or Caribbean red. With that being said, um, there's a lot of country. Some people say it does not exist at all, that people just call the whatever red habanero they have, they just call it red savina to sound fancy. Uh, so this is homemade, homemade eggplant parmesan on ciabatta bread. We're going to first start, biggest piece of placenta right there. The next biggest piece right there. Some more pieces here. And then there. And we got a sandwich. This would pro I think this would be like the absolute best eggplant parm sandwich you could ever get your hands on. I'm not lying.
<laughs> yes. Wow. Red pods with Italian food. And it doesn't matter if you have a vodka sauce or even a white sauce, especially with red sauce. Red pods go with all of them. So good. I'll eat a yellow pod with them once in a while if that's all I got, but I'm a red pod guy when it comes to Italian food. So this bad boy is, uh, it's hot, juicy, it's fruity, it's just a beautiful pepper. Um, like I said, there's lots of controversy. Uh, could this one be just a red habanero that's called a red savina? Of course. Um, thank you, honey. Uh, but I do know that this is not a red Caribbean by the pheno of it. Um, so the red Caribbeans are, I don't know, the ones I've had have more look more, look more like a bonnet than a, a habanero. So I got a nice lip burn going, a little bit going in the back of the throat. So the controversy, <clears throat> allegedly there was testimony that said this pepper was 800,000 originally and people debunked that. I guess they did 25 tests, even at, going after the 577,000, 25 different independent tests and the highest that the pepper ever came back was 300,000, okay? Which I believe that almost every red habanero I've had, whether it be the red Savina, the red hob, or the <coughs> Caribbean red, I believe, honestly, every, one, every time I've had them except twice, I believe that they were under 300,000, okay? I did a comparison with the red hob versus the orange hob years ago in the park with Mrs. Bullcow. I've just eaten enough of them to know. Um, however, like I said twice, once last year and once the year before, I had some red saminas that they rocked me. And they rocked my wife. There's videos of, of us eating them. And she said straight up, this is not a habanero. This is way hotter, you know, and whatnot. So, uh, yeah. Nice lip burn going. Um, here's a nice chunk. Oh, so juicy. It shot juice to the back of my throat and a little bit up my nose. It's hot. It's hot, believe me. Um, I wouldn't say it's over 500,000. This one's pretty darn hot. The burn I'm getting in the back of the throat is what's really <clears throat> standing out to me right now. Let's ramp it up with a little organic pinot. This is so good. Oh yeah. Top notch right there. I see a big old chunk of garlic just, look at that thing, it's just waiting for me. Wow. We're in business now. What a phenomenal dinner I got here, guys. Thank you, um, all my supporters. Smash that like button. Um, I've been trying to, a while back, I tried going through the Guinness book, World's Hottest Pepper series. I hadn't done the Red Savina yet, which from, like I said, I think I said it, from 1994 until 2000, 94 until 2006, so 12 years, uh, this was the Guinness book record holder. Was there hotter peppers out there? Of course there was. There was a ghost pepper, there was scorpion, all kinds of stuff. Um, so Guinness Book is not the uh, final authority, and especially when they have a test that shows an average of 577,000 scoville units. You're like, and that's the average? That means there's ones that are hotter than that. Uh, and no one's ever seen it. No one's ever got that kind of test results back. So um, I don't remember. There was one, somebody... I think somebody got one tested and it was close to that. It was 500,000 or something. I believe that. I believe a habanero, uh, even an orange, can test at 500,000 every now and again, okay? Uh, but steady, of course not. Um, and so, yeah, Guinness kind of has this, this, this bad record. I mean, you got to think about it. The three longest, okay, peppers on there. 
you know, you got the Red Savina, a lot of people think it's a hoax, um, and a lot of us, we don't believe those numbers at all. I don't. No, I don't think any chili head does. Uh, then the Carolina Reaper, a lot of people say it was a seven pot primo, it was stolen and renamed. Um, and so that's that. Uh, and then Pepper X. No third party testing, it's not released yet. No one, no one gets your hands on it. And we think that Pepper X will stay on there for quite some time. Um, and you know, I don't, I don't think anybody else is, is gonna. Uh, try to take the Pepper X out. I don't think it matters at this point. I mean, at this point, it's a money game, and it's. You know, I, don't, I don't. I don't know anybody that cares. Honestly, I really don't know anyone in the chili community that cares. There's some people that are kind of outside the chili community. I don't consider them chili heads. They don't eat chilies. They don't like hot sauce. They're just kind of in this to be uh, make money. And there's a couple of people like that that have like renamed peppers and. Claimed it's the hottest pepper in the world, but uh, you know they won't show their test results. So, besides those few uh, people that are like that, I don't think any respected grower out there that I know is going to try to uh, go for Guinness. It's just it's a, it's a marketing gimmick <clears throat> at this point. Um, my people, they love the chili community too much, um, and they love what they do, so they, they don't care. They, they don't really care about you know, being rich off of you know, a, a piece of paper, something like that. So this is phenomenal. See that big old chunk of pepper right there? I'm going to put this last piece there and uh, get into it. Mmm. Excellent pepper, though. Um... Excellent pepper. I'd say grow it. Now I grew them a couple years ago. The plant was from Lowe's. So, um, you know, 2021. I grew orange hobs before that every year. But a lot of people said that what I grew, it was a red habanero. A lot of people said it wasn't a red Savina. It was labeled red Savina. Uh, so, uh, who knows? But, uh, but they're really good, really good pepper, especially to make sauce from. Oh, by the way, shameless plug. Where did my wife do that? She hides everything from me. Shameless plug, red habanero sauce that it's hot and it tastes really good. Today's adventure, adventure sauces. They got a brand new sauce. It's their first hot sauce, guys. This stuff is excellent. This is made with red habanero and pineapple. It's not overly sweet. It works. The two combined with the spices that are in this, slamming. So if you guys didn't see the review on this, it's a few videos back. I just did it two days, three days ago. Go watch that video. Give it a thumbs up. Show them some love. Um, but yeah, the red habanero is just, it's a great pepper. It matters what sauces you're making. I found that... Um, you know, when mixing uh, the, the pep more citrusy peppers, I like to use orange habaneros when I'm looking for those kind of notes. When you're looking for a nice red sauce, um, the red habanero is just is a great one. It adds great heat. There's no bitterness or floralness in it. So you can use a lot of it to and really get a nice hot sauce. Whereas, you know, if you're using Reaper or something like that, you got to put some bell pepper and, you know, some something sweet in there you have to counteract it um, to take out the bitterness and to try to add some some flavor back to it with the red hobby you don't have to do that so great pepper uh, Guinness Book uh, record holder for 12 years um, the myth the legends the, the controversy around it some of us don't really know but hey you know what I'm saying I guess that's the fun of it Uncle Bokow freaking loves you what